If you are going to do some research, you are going to meet two kinds of data. First, there are primary and then there are secondary data. The difference between them is very basic. If you are going to use some primary data, they need to be collected specifically for your purpose. So we can say they are specific, they are specific for your research, for your research. And then what do you do? If, if you have finished your research, what you are going to do with your data? Well, you can imagine it as if you have brought it to some second, second hand shop. So you have brought it brought it to some second hand shop. Well, maybe you have written your article and the article is published. So the data that have been specific for your research are now available to anyone. And then there are going to be secondary data. If you are going to use the secondary data, you can imagine it that you are taking something. So you take some from a second hand shop. Well, the, the positive about the secondary data is that they are much cheaper is that they are much cheaper. But the opposite or the negative about them is that they are not specific for your research. So may not be so useful, may not be useful. Or maybe the formatting of the data is uh, not well suited for you. So, so they are cheaper, but they may not be useful. So well, if you will do a research, you will in a sense, at first try to use the secondary data. So we will check, you will Google and you will maybe find some articles. These are all the second hand data. And then if you decide, okay, this research is good for me, you are going to invest some capital and you are going to collect some primary data, which will be specific for your research. So we will design some questionnaire and you will go out there and ask people specifically the questions you would need to know. 